Okay, hi. Welcome to the panic button. <laughs> I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. Do I try that again? <laughs> He's whining. Okay. We'll just get right into it. Okay. He's whining, though. She asked me to trigger her, and I don't know if I'm going to trigger her, but I'm going to show her stuff that get her upset normally. Aiden, I'm a trans guy, and I love wearing mascara. Yet, every single video I post, I usually get at least one cisgender person saying, How can you say you're a man and still wear mascara? I think the better question here is, How are you letting this tube of makeup control your life? How are you giving this fibrous material that people put on their lashes that much power over you? I could understand if you're trans and makeup gives you dysphoria. That's legit. But for my cis folks out there, I think you might need therapy. If this right here <laughs> is ruining your life, if you get that angry about seeing this on a man, y'all need some help. I'll let you digest. <laughs> she said she said they need therapy? Ah, did I do it yet? Did I get you there? <laughs> we can dive into her profile. I just thought she was a hairy Italian woman. <laughs> you mean you couldn't tell she put that mascara over her lip as well? Because <laughs> that's exactly what she did. I just assumed she, she was Italian. So I, I watched. Mean, we, a lot of women like us have hair on our lips, and Very I don't, luckily. But <laughs> you're also blonde, so <laughs> you're at an advantage there. Um, however, I deep dove into her profile because I got curious. <laughs> yeah, was, and basically, she she's a textbook case of autogynephilia because she just wants to like be buff, have a dick, but look like a chick, which. I understand what she's saying, which is the same argument we use. There are femboys out there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but she's trying to turn from a chick into a femboy. <laughs> same one? Yeah, I felt like she deserved two spots. But you're too pretty to be a man. This is something I hear a lot as a trans dude. And that's because men in this world are taught that they are not allowed to be pretty. These terms have become so gendered as feminine, and the misogyny is clear. I checked out once I heard her say, You're too pretty to be a man. I hear that a lot. No, you don't. Only no, on TikTok? No, you don't. Do you know how many people on TikTok post that exact thing? You're too pretty to be this. You're too pretty to be gay. Blah, 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 blah. No, they don't. They don't hear that. They don't hear that from anybody. The reason they post that on TikTok is so they can get people to think that other people find them so pretty that they wouldn't think they could possibly be gay or be a man or whatever. She's a fairly attractive woman, don't um, get me wrong. This is just a vanity ploy. Ain't working. Ain't working with me. I know better. The No one is saying you're too pretty to be a man. The cuckoo no bird one. flew. <laughs> it flew. And, like, you are an Maybe attractive woman. Maybe the voices woman. in her head were saying that, but no. You're an attractive woman, don't get me wrong, but, like, the... No, she's <laughs> not. No, I mean, like, stereotypically attractive. Like, she would be, but she's not. Like, the, she's too crazy to be attractive. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sure when she identified as a woman, people were like, yeah. But she's not, she doesn't even change what she's Until wearing. Until she opens her mouth. She doesn't even change what she's wearing in her TikToks. Like, she, like she's still dressing like a chick. I don't understand. I know another trans girl made a post about this, but it's been bothering me, so I want to make a post about it. I am a trans lesbian, and every time I hear a lesbian talk about their dislike of mascara wands, it hurts me. It hurts trans women. It makes us feel unwanted. It makes us feel... I don't care! I don't care! I don't care! This one felt... I am a lesbian, this okay? Is... Which means we like... Homegrown, original, out of the womb vagina. Say okay, tacos. Just say I tacos. don't care about your feelings. We don't care. We don't like. Get it through your goddamn head. I don't think I earned this one. 
I didn't earn this one. You didn't earn it. You no, didn't I earn didn't. it. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want to finish it or no? Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because there is an equation almost every time in one of these posts of mascara wands to lesbianism. I'm not saying you can't have a preference. I'm saying don't talk about it publicly. I'm saying don't post about it on Main to get 100k likes. When you post about it publicly, it hurts us. It makes us feel unwanted. It makes us feel unsafe. It makes us feel discarded. We are a group constantly defined by our genitals. And when you hate on us, hate on those body parts, it feels disgusting. Just make this place safer for us. That's it. Make it comfortable. I'll wait. Just don't talk about it in public. Excuse me, sir. Uh, <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. Wasn't okay? that how they treated gays before where they were like, you can be gay, just don't ever bring it out into the real world. Keep it behind closed doors. Yeah. I'm not taking orders from anybody, especially a man who says he's a woman. I don't care about this person's feelings. Oh, I don't care okay? at all. Don't give a shit. The fact that they are posting this and they're getting butt hurt about a lesbian liking vagina mm -hmm. says a lot about that person, which is they're probably just transmaxing, which means they are incel guys who are so desperate to get women that they fake transition for the women who will be sympathetic for it into women so that they can get women. There's also, which he probably is, someone who is obsessed with lesbians. There's a fetishizing thing with lesbians that's always, that existed. always existed. Always. This person is a predator to lesbians. Even like two, three years ago, I remember going out to a bar when I first could, and pe like I had a guy who's like, I could be a lesbian for the night. <sighs> this is the same thing as a straight man saying he's a lesbian. Oh, I just want to watch. No, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Because no one ever says that to straight couples. No one ever says that at a bar to a straight person. And I don't care if you feel unsafe. We feel unsafe every time you come in our bathrooms and our locker rooms. How unsafe do you think So I, I don't give a flying F. Just because women are more agreeable and more sympathetic doesn't mean they're going to buy into this bullshit. It's they're so, not. It's so crazy. The weak ones will. <sighs> the smart ones know better. When people get mad at people for misgendering them, even though they didn't physically transition at all. Yeah. Okay. Does that <laughs> so make sense? The, I'll play the original video for you because I, I, I loved it. Okay. <laughs> I can sympathize and relate to the frustrations of another trans person who is constantly getting misgendered. But instead, I don't do any of that. And I'm like, actually, amateur. You clearly aren't trying hard enough, or else you would get like me. And then I post it online. That's what I would do if I was still deeply insecure about my own transition, projecting my self-hatred onto non-transitioning people. <laughs> you want to talk about number one thing that's a big turnoff for an actual lesbian is beards. I, d I didn't understand what they said. I just know that... If I want this video to get taken down on TikTok, all I have to do is this. Wait. <laughs> Let me just. Uh. Let me get a little, like, little hair on there for you. <laughs> do is. Honey. You love my beard. <laughs> I hate it so much. You love it. Nobody misgenders you. Hang on. Nobody misgenders you now. So I'm going on a date on Thursday. <laughs> it's my first in-person date as a trans man. What, what, what? What if she thinks I'm too short? What if she doesn't like the way I smell? You have to like the way your partner smells. What if I think we have an amazing time and she acts like we have an amazing time and then slowly and slowly and slowly she pushes me out of her life and leaves me more and more on red. Guys don't do that. This is a chick thing. If you're going to be a man, you need to change your way of thinking. Thanks, and but. what is it with people filming themselves so freaking close to their face? I can see every crevice, every mountain, every hill, every <laughs> red mark, crater and spot. Jesus Christ, okay. the lighting is terrible. Use a freaking filter or something. Why are we doing this? Why? There is a theme here of people who don't find themselves to be attractive. They just make themselves more unattractive. 
They just flip their genders, and it doesn't help. No. This poor woman could have been a successful lesbian. Says who? I don't know. I'm trying to help. Oh, <laughs> she'd be great for a baby gay. Yeah. Because they know. like dudes, too. And they don't mind the bigger, heavier set ones. You yeah, know? they seem to like them. Yeah. She'd be, the butch ones. She'd be yeah. getting a lot of youngins. Yeah. yeah baby yeah. gays have a thing for butch lesbians. Yeah. and you're, If y'all didn't and know. And you'd, you'd baby be gays are, are women who came out in like their 30s. And they'd be in like an 20s, interracial couple and they'd totally dig that. Being that too. Couple. It's so crazy being a trans lesbian with a mascara wand and seeing this trend where a bunch of other lesbians talk about how they don't like your wand. Okay, so would you like to tell people what this you, person means by mascara wand? Do you need me to tell you what mascara wand means? Yeah, because oh. I didn't fucking know what it was till yesterday. <laughs> so it's a, it's a dude's appendage. It's a penis. That eggplant emoji? It's a Johnson. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let me get this right. <laughs> yeah, just change it to Johnson. <laughs> let's let's get it kicked off to TikTok. Let's do this. It's so crazy being a trans lesbian with a mascara wand and seeing this trend where a bunch of other lesbians talk about how they don't like your wand. Look at that fucking Anyone in the nose. comments, if you know who I am Im- doing an impression of, leave in the comments below. Petition to have all cis exclusive lesbians thrown the fuck out. Like, the rest of us are just chilling. We don't need them. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! We run this bitch. Lesbians aren't going anywhere. You, my friend, are going to have a giant problem. With this attitude, Mm -hmm. in our space, uh uh-uh, ain't gonna fly. A lot of lesbians on YouTube are much nicer than we are. We're the bitch lesbians on YouTube. Hi, I'm Nina. (laughs) I don't know if we is the right word, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm the bitch lesbian on YouTube, and I don't give a shit. I'm not against that. I don't care. I'm not against that. I'm just, you're more aggressive than I am. I'm I'm a complete asshole, though. Don't get me wrong. But you know what's funny? These people can post a TikTok all day, but ain't going to see Get to you in person. No. Not never. Because they're just little bullies staying behind their camera doing. Yep. And I have proof of it. Look at our TikTok. babies. Look at our TikTok comments. (laughs) Shout out to everyone who helps us out in the TikTok comments. And also, I would like to say shout out to all the women and all the men who are coming out and actually supporting us. It's announcing this crazy shit. And I'm really proud of it. Will I wear makeup every day? Probably not. I do like a more masculine presentation. But makeup can't control my life. And I am a guy and I like makeup and that's okay. (laughs) Nice face. (laughs) What do you think about that? I couldn't stop looking at her teeth. (laughs) That's all I could think about. Right? I have nothing else to say, but... <laughs> well, what do you think about trans guys who have, like, transitioned like, this far? If oh, you man. get misgendered, don't get pissed about it because you're wearing makeup, okay? Mm-hmm. So if you get misgendered and you're wearing makeup and you're a biological woman, but you say you're a man and you get misgendered, you can't be pissed. <laughs> Wasn't it, like, ten years ago where if you saw a chick with, like, a little bit of a mustache, you call her he, she'd get real pissed off? <laughs> That's about it. I can't. I can't imagine living like this. <clears throat> oh, this is what oh, I was Oh, can you check the camera first? Yeah. This is the... No, it's a way to be this is the one I thought you might enjoy, actually. It's not to trigger you. Okay. So this one won't trigger me. No, it won't trigger you. It'll actually make you a little happy. It's 1916. Okay. This is the same... I looked at the Save the Tomboys thing. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> she's a woman you'd agree with. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to end on a positive note for you. Okay. Every tomboy is time transgender. No, it's a way to piss me off. Thank you, Colin. I was a tomboy when I was a little kid. I used to catch bugs, play in the mud. I used to do a lot of that shit. Play with the guys, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I always hung out with the boys because they always played with the action figures. And I loved the action figures. I always had uh, ball Spider-Man, ball. Venom, Spawn was my favorite. Play Wolverine with the... the uh, Claws that, like, come out and then go back in. Retractable. Yeah. (laughs) It was fun. So I hung out with the boys. 
But if I were to have lived as a child today, they would be trying to trans me. Me too. And I would have been so confused because I was a child with a child mind that I probably would have went along with it because when you're a child, you automatically assume that adults are right and they know better. I got misgendered as a child once. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because I always wore boys' clothes. Um, I went... When Blockbuster was a thing, I went to Blockbuster to get a movie with my mom. I just recently cut my hair short. I was 10, and I was walking out, and she said something. Oh, does your little boy want anything? My mom didn't say anything, and then we just walked out, and I was like, hmm. (laughs) That was interesting. I was slightly offended, but more confused. Lesbians like vagina. Real ones. Yeah, the whole wand thing shouldn't be offensive to you. The The trend is what's really disgusting about it. It's not offensive for someone to have a preference. Well, if I were to put myself into their shoes, why would I be making a whole bunch of TikToks about people not wanting me? Can I put you in their shoes? How you- many straight girls have you been interested in but instantly found out they were straight and you just, like, left it because— A lot of them. Yeah. But I knew that there was no chance, so I'm like, okay, moving on. You didn't sit there and go, well, it's just really upsetting to me because you just want someone with a penis and not someone with a vagina. No, because that's like that's trying a problem to force someone into a relationship with you or to sleep with you. That's that's predatory. That's that's like rapey. Welcome to the dating world, guys. Rejection <laughs> and chances. You ask someone, I'm not into what you got. Cool. Move on. That's how lesbians have done it with straight girls for a long, long time. (laughs) Trans women who have an issue with lesbians not wanting them need to take lessons from lesbians. We like straight women all the time. And we don't get, we don't become a baby and whine about it on TikTok because straight women don't want us. No, we move on. There are more women out there in the world. Grow up. Like I mentioned earlier, they they act like this trans, the, the word trans must be like minuscule. That's why they can just call themselves lesbians. If you called yourself trans lesbians, the world wouldn't be half as irritated as they are right now. Because we'd be like, okay, they're identifying the fact that they are a trans lesbian. But just calling yourself a lesbian, it really negates the word completely. P.S. You're born gay. You don't turn gay. You don't have eight babies and then like, time to switch. 